America, we failed this young man. We really did. We got an article coming to us from SB Nation. Former Ohio Bobcat DJ Cooper on FIBA suspension list for submitting pregnant woman's urine to a drug test. We're just as baffled as you are, dear reader. This is written by James Jimenez. <laughs> There's nothing baffling here. He tried to use somebody else's pee and he fell so deep in the woke rabbit hole, believing that, you know, gender's gender's just a social construct. He can use a woman's pee and they won't be able to tell the difference. Oh my goodness, Let, let's get into this. In one of the wildest stories to ever come out of European professional basketball, Slovenian media company RTV reported Saturday afternoon that DJ Cooper, former Ohio University Bobcat star and March Madness hero, received a suspension from FIBA basketball international body last season for attempting to cheat a drug test. Sure. Players get suspended fairly often for trying to get away with doping or recreational drugs, but in this case, it's a bit different. Per RTV, as translated by Eurohoops, Cooper tested positive for pregnancy, resulting in his immediate suspension for fraud. <laughs> now, here's the thing. This feels like a girlfriend-type move. Like, hey, baby, I got I got a piss test tomorrow, man. I need, I need somebody to speak. Oh, you can use my... Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, baby. I'm curious, like, like if he, cause, like I said, it feels like a girlfriend move. So if he was smashing her and he didn't know she was pregnant, oh, what a day! <laughs> what a day! Oh my goodness. More specifically, Cooper, or rather the urine Cooper submitted, tested positive for hormone GHC, which is produced by a placenta after impregnation. Buckle up, because it only gets weirder from there. It turns out to be urine belonged to Cooper's girlfriend, per RTV, called it. <laughs> oh, man. So... Uh, this is from a translation of the original RTV report. Apparently using the illicit means that would make his doping test a positive one, he decided to push foreign urine for anti-doping investigators. He obtained this from the person he trusted most, his girlfriend. Well, investigators then told him that he had passed the doping test successfully, but that he was pregnant. The internal basketball, the International Basketball Federation, FIBA, immediately suspended him for fraud. Case closed, right? Well, no. Just what was DJ Cooper, who hadn't played professionally since 2017 with AS Monaco, where he left to go on hiatus due to family reasons, doing submitting to a drug test with FIBA? It turns out that Cooper, a native of Chicago, Illinois, was in the possession of maintaining his eligibility to play on the senior Bosnian national basketball team. Cooper applied for and was granted citizenship in Bosnia back in 2014 and was immediately placed on the team. The next season, just before the Euro basketball, the Eurobasket qualification tournament, Cooper left for what his agent the team termed a family emergency, though some Greek media reported it was due to a disagreement over on-court style of play. It seems Cooper was attempting to get back into the senior Bosnian national team when he was caught using his pregnant girlfriend's urine to try and get past a doping test. RTV seemed to suggest that the article that Cooper hadn't in the article that Cooper hadn't set foot in Bosnia since he left the team initially in 2015, making the story all the stranger still. It, it's another strange twist in the career of Cooper, who, after finishing his career as the only player in NCAA history to hit 2,000 points, 900 assists, 600 rebounds, and 300 steals over their career, and leading the Bobcats to the Sweet 16 in 2012, found himself playing overseas as a professional. He made his name in the Greek leagues as a member first of PAOK, -P then, yeah, I'm not doing all that, and AEK Athens. AEK, yeah, AEK Athens. Uh, Athens, Athens, oh my goodness. Getting named to the Greek League Best Five in 2014 before heading to France, where he won French Pro a MVP, MVP honors and the French Leaders Cup trophy in 2016, as well as All Star honors in 2017 with BCM Gravelines and won the cup again in his second stint with Monaco in 2017. Cooper appeared out of the woodwork after a year and a half away from the game to participate in the basketball tournament this past season as a member of the Mid, Mid American Unity, 
a trade a team made up of former college basketball players primarily from conferences in the midwest regardless of the circumstances cooper is currently suspended from the fiba play until june 24 2020 putting his professional basketball career overseas in jeopardy over the next year why isn't he in the nba i mean i guess he, maybe he's not good enough i'm not sure but i just <laughs> we'll leave it on him for the remainder of the video i just really um wonder if he knew she was pregnant because like if he found that out on the same day oof, man it's like what a day right but <laughs> I mean, uh, with this all, t I think with, when did this take place? I think all this took place, um, uh, like maybe like last year sometime. I'm not sure, but you know, I, I wish him the best. I really do. Uh, I hope, you know, he gets back into uh, the league and plays well and provides for his kid. Um, well, what I assume is his kid, you can never really tell with these types of situations. I don't know what's going on with him and the whole old girl relationship, but you know, it's not a hell of a way to find out you might be a daddy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, of all the ways to find out you might be a daddy, I, I'm not sure that'd be the one that I want to rock with. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, that's going to be the end of this one, all the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike it, go ahead, do that too. I'm not scared. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to give videos like this every single day. Share, because sharing is caring and YouTube's definitely not going to do it. And speak. Let me know, what do you think in the comments? <laughs> How'd you how'd you find out about your first kid, huh? Me, Colin Brooke. So, like the first time you knew your girlfriend, was like you know, what I'm saying you got somebody pregnant, or you may have gotten somebody pregnant. How'd you find out if you're a guy and if you are a female? I think this question goes uh, goes uh, equally as well. But I'd like to hear those stories in the comments. And until the next one.